what's going on friends and family? My name is Skylint, and you know what? I play a lot of freaking different games here, but of course we focus on a lot of new games. A lot of freaking new games, which they do follow trends, so that could be like a new sandbox MMO currently, right now, yeah. A lot of action RPG, a lot of looters, looter shooters, sure, sure. Uh, and obviously the big one, Battle Royales. I play a lot of Battle Royales. I think you do, or most people do play, play some Battle Royale, one Battle Royale, maybe it's Fortnite. Uh, what we know of the trend that is Battle Royales. But games, they come in trends, they come and go, and today we're talking about Battle Royales. Are they too superfluous? Do we have too many? Is there, is there an oversaturation in the market of Battle Royales? And I'm here to kind of talk about that. And of course, as always in Skylit fashion, we talk about myself in the third person, but also we talk around topics in order to define them. Uh, compare, contrast. And me, as a YouTuber, as a content creator, as a reviewer, as somebody who went to school for game design, I've been through, like, you know, re really taking a look at these games hardcore, okay? Not, not just as a normal consumer, but like, really trying to critically look at these games. And I've been through a lot of different phases. It really actually started for me personally with the big MMO boom. Uh, that was when I started as, you know, like a critic, as someone more a serious gamer, I guess you could say, as somebody who's more hardcore. Um, and some of you guys in guilds might have, uh, you know, seen this too. MMOs got really, really big. Maybe your guild became a multi-game guild, most likely. And then, um, you know, MMOs kind of faded a little bit. Uh, there, there's still tons of them being pumped out, but like the quality of such or how serious you take them, it, it kind of, you know, it became a little bit repetitive, repetitious, and, uh, you know, it, it basically the fad died. You know, not that MMOs are dead, but the, the, the fad did die for MMOs. We are no longer in the MMO time. Then, after that, we had MOBAs. That was a huge freaking thing. MOBAs. And of course, in between these and after these, there were many ones like, you know, CCG. We had for like a season, like every CCG ever was coming out. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Tactics games were pretty big. And then, of course, all the gacha games are it's kind of popular. But basically, yeah, we had MOBAs. They came. They saw. They conquered. They, and then they left, actually. The few that, that kinged themselves on the hill, then everyone else just couldn't even stand. Uh, so, yeah, basically... Uh, there's been ups and downs with trends with any genre. There's a big new genre. People want to jump in on it, uh, you know, because of maybe search terms. You know, Google's actually really powerful. YouTube, uh, you know, how you design games. It's all a big social meta mumbo jumbo magic voodoo. I don't know, uh, but why people make games is basically because, hey, that's popular. People are into that. Let me jump in on that. Let me get a slice of that pie. That's basically it. Uh, and Battle Royale is also a part of that. Does it? say much i think to the development um where i guess you can't really say that a game is bad just because they are jumping on a bandwagon i mean a game can be really cool like literally fortnite is self-admitted as we are jumping on this bandwagon we're gonna do the best we can and look how good their best was it's amazing so it's it's not always something that it should just be scoffed at like i see so much in the comments below Battle Royales, it's just, oh my god, another Battle Royale. And this is coming off of the tail of my last video, where I talked about Spellbreak, a new magic Battle Royale. Like, the Battle Royale is kind of the vehicle for the rest of the mechanics, and yeah, that, that is like the meat and taters. Yeah, people are gonna jump down, and they're gonna, well, Battle Royale, but like, Spellbreak is looking pretty crazy, and a lot of you guys are forgiving that it is a Battle Royale. You're like, oh yeah, it does look amazing, but I think you should probably forgive more games for jumping on the bandwagon. I think, um, looking at my history with all these different, uh, these the different genres that have come and gone, I can say that I've genuinely enjoyed a lot of different MMOs. You know, so many MMOs that, that weren't popular. Even Wildstar, which is shutting down this coming month, um, you know, I had fun with it. I enjoyed it, even though it was a total failure, and many games like it were failures, technically. It doesn't mean I didn't have fun, and, and some games that didn't shut down, but aren't very popular, like Toontown or something like that, well, technically it did shut down, but now it's a private server. Regardless, smaller games, are still really interesting and fun, okay? Like, just because it's not the most biggest popularist thing, or maybe because the genre is technically oversaturated, it doesn't mean that you can't have fun with the genre as a whole still. So, just, you know, going forward, Battle Royales, are they oversaturated? We're getting a fucking ton of them. But are we getting a ton of popular big games? I think you can probably count more popular MMOs, which many people would consider a dead genre, than Battle Royale. Though, of course, we're still getting some churned out. I mean, we had Realm Royale for a while, and then it dropped significantly. We had PUBG, right? Uh, it's still popular, but, um, you know, it's definitely got some competition now. Uh, H1Z1 dropped dramatically, and then we have, oh man, there were so many joke games that came out, which were fun, you know, totally accurate uh, battles, Battleground Simulator. 
Battlegrounds, whatever. That game was super fun. I had I had a stupid amount of fun with that game. But obviously the player base died. Uh, you know, there were so many more, and there's more upcoming that will probably have lower populations, as they should, because it's a really easy to make genre. It's it's really really kind of minimalistic, other than the server code. Uh, it's it's pretty much set in stone, Battle Royale. You don't gotta be too creative with it. You can still have wacky fun. So, you know, maybe they shouldn't deserve wild success. But I also don't think you should expect wild success, like Fortnite-level success, from every single game coming out. I think that Battle Royale isn't quite to that point of oversaturation like it has been for MMOs. And to a point, it almost was like that for MOBAs as well. It got to that point. Um, but in the end, companies were really smart and they canceled their projects like Dawngate. Um, there was some Crytek one. I don't know. I, there, there was a couple of them and then they stopped them. Uh, you know, Paragon also got cut, uh, which was an action MOBA, but still gigantic, maybe debatable. But, uh, you know, th there were some MOBAs that, that got cut early. Uh, because the market, they felt it was oversaturated, but those games could have existed, and they kind of did exist. They could have continued, and many MOBA do still, you know, that you've never heard of, like Air Mech, Dragons and Titans, two of some of my favorite action RTS games. I really quite enjoy them, and they have, like, no player base. Uh, actually, Air Mech just got a campaign, <laughs> freaking a re-release. So, you know, the this genre, which is new and blossoming, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of new games, but I don't think it's to the point of true oversaturation. Basically, we have Fortnite, and maybe Realm Royale can make a comeback. I think Spellbreak is gonna make a, a nice big splash. I think people are gonna really enjoy it. It's already getting really popular. And there's like this weird Viking one uh, about Ragnarok. That one looks really interesting and cool. But of course, there's gonna be a lot of copycat games. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of mobile. I think, you know, there's gonna be a lot of IO Battle Royale games. There's gonna be a Battle Royale games and everything. You know, new Call of Duty Battle Royale. But like, I still think that there's still lots of fresh ideas coming out. I still think that there's a lot of creativity. Not to say that in those other genres, you know, that have had those trends that they didn't have creativity. It's just, I think it, it's still too new, right? Uh, we had the Grand Theft Auto Battle Royale game mode, and I think we're going to see more of that too. Is more games promoting their Battle Royale game modes and um, less just making a pure Battle Royale game. I think that's cool, that's interesting, and I'm excited for that personally. But a lot of people are just saying, oh my god, it's another Battle Royale. Just because Fortnite is the biggest, happiest thing right now that, that's going on, dudes. Look, it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing that other games are following in its footsteps. Because actually, Fortnite was literally following in PUBG's footsteps. Which PUBG was literally following in H1Z1's, you know, footsteps. Even though it's from the same creator, basically. Uh, you know, it, it's just all following trends and then trying to do something unique from that. And we shouldn't just, like, villainize that concept, because that's all, pretty much anything is nowadays. Oh, everything is basically following trends, you know, seeing what people like, and seeing what's popular, and then trying to do something a little bit, like, you know, a slight unique twist on it, and trying to do it a little bit bigger and better. That's pretty much everything, and everything is a remix, to an extent. But, like, Fortnite is was actually a really creative game. I think Spellbreak is a really creative game, and we really should be promoting these really unique creative games, and just because they have the tag Battle Royale, doesn't mean that it's, you know, the the end, like, oh, it's just another battle royale, it's just gonna fail. I, that, that's kind of, that's tragic, you know, and it's not very fun for me. As somebody who tries to find new games, like, hey, here's five new battle royale games that I found. I don't like all the negativity, man. You know, like, hey, I, I like being critical. We can criticize if the game looks bad, if the gameplay is going to be bad, if there's might be some issues, but like, just because it happens to be in a trending genre, that doesn't mean shit, okay? Though, I mean, okay, it, it, it has implications, but it, does, it doesn't just instantly mean, you know, hey, you guys, you guys rag on me for judging books by the cover, by judging games by the trailers. You guys judge the games by the fucking, like, the, the, the genre that it's in, the, the name. Oh, I don't like the spell break. What's that even? What? What? Guys, come on. Seriously. Anyways, so I'm excited for new Battle Royale games. I don't think we're too oversaturated. There is still way more cool stuff that could happen. Um, I think especially uh, with, with what we see with Call of Duty. You know what how it's how it's doing how people are receiving it i think you know it's, it's interesting dude fuck it man i want to see um Mordhau put in a battle royale mode you know i i don't care i think actually uh, maybe some older mmos could actually use a battle royale mode in fact we're actually seeing some mobas throw you know battle rights throw in a battle royale mode and like people are like hey it's kind of cool actually you know i, I think it's something that is a fun experiment and maybe that's that's a problem is a lot of people think, oh, it's just, you know, it's like survival games, you know, they're just throwing shit together. It's just an experiment to see how it works. But you know what? At the same time, guys, 
Sometimes the experimental, weird, and, and almost rushed games actually can be some of the most fun. Tell me you didn't have fun with Ark in the very beginning. Tell me you didn't have fun with DayZ when it was in its mod days. Tell me you didn't have fun with Battle Royale when it was emergent. Tell me you didn't have fun with the very first MMOs, which were clunky as hell. I'm replaying them right now. Trust me, I know. Tell me you didn't have fun with that emergent design because you're there, the whole community's there, we're trying it out, and in retrospect, yeah, it's shit, okay? In retrospect, it was a bad, awkward, clunky time, but in the moment, and what that's what you do when you play these live games, these online games, you're playing in the moment, it feels amazing. So Battle Royales, keep them coming, that's all I gotta say. I, I, don't, I don't want anybody to feel hindered by creativity, though if you, I will say, end capping the video, I will say, I like these new games coming out, but... It does get a little bit dubious when you have a game such as Battle Rights and then you switch entire development focus on the Battle Royale mode. Uh, that did happen with Fortnite. That did happen with Battle Rights. Um, that's actually, we, we switched uh, game modes with Hunt Showdown. It was supposed to be Hunt the Gilded Horrors or something like that. It was supposed to be a co-op game. Yeah, so, so it does get a little bit dubious because people do like fund the games for the co-op mode and then they turn into a Battle Royale. I understand that. I understand some complaints about that. But in the end, all the games that I just mentioned, like people are still critically saying, hey, that's that's actually, it's still interesting. So it's not the Battle Royale that makes it bad. Sure, maybe following trends has some implications, but Battle Royale itself, I don't think is oversaturated yet. I think there's still tons of fun games to be had. And in fact, because there's so many games coming out, it actually makes it better. Because in order to ride the wave, there must first be a wave. So a lot of games that wouldn't get, you know, noticed, a lot of games that wouldn't be played, a lot of mechanics that wouldn't be felt and experiences experienced, now they can be because there is a saturation that is being turned up. That's all I'm saying, guys. Sometimes trends, I would actually say most of the time, it's actually a really good thing. It's a really fun thing, especially for me as a content creator. So that's my bias, guys. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. I said my say, you know, and I'm definitely going to be doing some more list videos. Definitely going to be playing some more battle royales. Definitely one of my favorite genres out there today. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Keep the hype alive. My name is Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.